There's a new version of the Gala Games Node software, as well as a proposal put to a vote for node owners. So, how do we update our nodes? And how do we cast our vote? Let's take a look at how to upgrade our nodes and how to get past potential roadblocks we may or may not encounter. We're going to go over the Windows version of the node software, but if you're running the Mac version, it's very similar. The first thing is that when you take a look at your nodes, they may have a box in the upper right saying new version available, start download, or it may not be there. If it's not there, then what? Do you know if you have the current version of the node software running? First, if the node looks like this, it's the old version. You can check to see the version by clicking on the applications menu and then app information. The old version of the nodes is 0.3.11. Even if you're running the old version of the node and the new version box isn't there, we can still update our node. All we need to do is go to the application menu on the node and select check for update. The new version available box will then come up. Next, click on start download. Great, it's downloading. But sometimes it will get to 100% and just sit there and keep spinning. So if that happens, now what? If it says it's 100% downloaded, but then doesn't do anything, we can fix this by reinstalling our node. To do that, first we click the close box in the upper right to quit the node software. You may be thinking, but my progress bar is not at 100%. If I close my node, won't I lose my progress? The answer to that is no. When we install the new node software, it will pick up where it left off on the progress meter. Now that we've shut down the old node, let's go get the new node software. To do this, we log into the Gala Games website and go to the node download page. We can get there in two ways. We can either click on our username in the upper right, then account and node info, or we can click on the my node tab and then account info. Then click the download link to download the new node software. Occasionally, you may encounter issues downloading and installing node software. Let's see how to deal with each of those. First, when we download the node software, don't launch it from the browser window. Instead, click on this little triangle thing and then show in folder. We can then launch it from there. If an error comes up, try this. Right click on the Gala Win file and choose Troubleshoot Compatibility. If you're running your node on a VPS and using a Mac to connect to it using Microsoft Remote Desktop, you can do this right click by clicking with two fingers on the trackpad. Now click on Try Recommended Settings, then test the program, then click Run. This should fix the issues and get our Node Software Installer to work properly. Then just log into your node, and here we are with our newly updated node. So what is updated about it anyway? Obviously it looks different, but most of the changes were done behind the scenes in preparation for future node functionality. Let's take a look at the new interface. Other than look and feel, it works pretty much the same as the old node. The total mind number is still a bit confusing as it doesn't really show the total mind, but rather the amount of Gala that was in your Gala Games wallet when you logged into this node. This number does not include the Gala that is still in your treasure chest. Speaking of treasure chest, look, there's a treasure chest option in the left nav. But don't get too excited though. The treasure chest is not yet integrated into the node software. This is just a web link to the treasure chest page on the Gala Games website. Okay, so let's look around some more. How about network power? Nothing new here. But wait, why does it say my processor speed is zero gigahertz? Don't worry about it. Obviously it's incorrect, but it doesn't affect the running of the node. Your node's daily progress meter is still headed towards its goal. All right, so next we have voting. Oh, that's right. At the time of the filming of this video, node owners have something to vote on. You can cast your vote on either the old node or the new one. To vote, click on voting in the left nav bar. Checking the box next to the way you want to vote is pretty straightforward. But if you have multiple nodes, you will have this additional stuff at the top. On the new nodes, it says number of votes to apply. Each licensed node that is running gets a vote. One node, one vote. Rather than going to each node individually to vote, you can cast your vote for all of your nodes at once. Over on the right, these little arrows come up, and you can click on them to increase the number up to the number of nodes you own. Your vote will then count for the number of nodes you select.
For instance, if you have 10 nodes, select 10 and vote yes, then that would cast 10 yes votes. The process to vote is the same on the old nodes, but the interface is different. Instead of saying number of votes to apply at the top, it says vote multiplier. Also, while it may not look like it, the line below vote multiplier is actually a slider. So move the slider to the right to cast the vote for all of your nodes. You need to move the slider before you can click on the vote button. Moving forward, it's a good idea to regularly check for proposals that are put up for a vote, as Gala Games has said there will be many more in the future. In fact, a new vote came up while I was finishing this video. I've got one other thing to show you real quick. On the My Node tab on the Gala Games website, it now shows how many of your nodes are online right now. If you have multiple nodes, this is a super easy way to check to make sure that all of your nodes are running properly. Well, that's it for now. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.